What's up guys, James here. Today we're bringing uh, sort of a different video today. Um, I've been playing the old Halos recently and um, I just felt like Infinite had a great armory, but it was missing a lot of stuff, especially old stuff in the past that I really liked. Um, so I decided to compile a list. Uh, I want to note ahead of time that I've recently switched to a widescreen monitor, so my footage is going to look a little bit weird. Um, uh, maybe just the background stuff because I just have old um, Halo Infinite clips and uh, that were recorded in normal 16.9. But yeah, let's begin. So number five, we have the Reach DMR. Now, this might be a controversial one because I know a lot of people think the Reach DMR is kind of overpowered and many people might think, oh, we already have the Commando, where does that fit in? Well, my first reason is, um, well, it's an OG weapon. It's one of the uh, unique weapons in Halo that is loved by many players. Second, I think the Commando is sort of like a close range weapon because it sort of has a TTK similar to the assault rifle and the sidekick. Lastly, um, they started off with memories of reach so might as well just bring back the DMR. It's one of the most iconic weapons in that game. Okay. Those, wait, why weren't you doing headshots? Head headshots don't matter until the very end. Yeah. Oh, you got my kill. <laughs> I see you. Wait. Okay, let me try. Okay, one second for a precision weapon is pretty alarming, especially at close range. Um, but regardless, um, most people won't hit their shots because this is generally a harder weapon to control. But it's still pretty fast, so that's why I'd suggest the DMR because. As you can see in these next clips, um, if you're using this gun far range, it's a little bit harder to control the recoil. Um, the next clip, we're going to be shooting a target standing still, but when somebody starts to strafe, it's a lot harder to hit them with this fast fire rate. Okay, so. okay, well. That melted me. Yeah, but like, I don't know, like... It's harder up. if the person's moving around, obviously, right? Yeah, so if you're shit like me, you can't hit all the shots. When so, my solution to sort of fix this, like, weird area of, like, a far-range precision weapon is introducing the DMR back into the game. You might say that, like, oh, the battle rifle is already good at long range, but, I mean... We gotta have some variety, you know? <laughs> Personally, how I would do it is I would make it similar to the stalker rifle, is that have a little bit faster fire rate and a lower damage. That way, it doesn't seem too overpowered, but it's good for long range. Maybe like a five shot to shield break, and then you can headshot. Um, and then having blue. Okay, now this is a super controversial one. Um, I want the Spartan laser to return. And. I say this because it's literally one of my favorite weapons in the Halo franchise. Um, I think it's one of the coolest ideas, coolest weapons that they've added into the game. Um, it looks sick, it sounds cool, all that stuff. But um, I also think that in um, Halo Infinite, we don't really have weapons that um, can take down vehicles easily. Um, if you compare... To the, the the Halo Infinite rocket launcher and the uh, um, the Halo Free rocket launcher, th there's a massive difference. The rocket launcher in Halo Infinite just seems underpowered. Here's a clip showing it. Okay, start driving toward me. Oh. Okay, yeah. See, hey. it doesn't. You have to take two rockets to kill. That's like super different from the old games. Oh, 
lot of damage. Okay, so we know the rocket launcher isn't like its former self, but what about the Hydra? That's also sort of like a, a anti-vehicle weapon, a rocket launcher. Um, so we tested it on the Warthog because that's what most people will be driving in BTB. But um, I do want to note that the Hydra is pretty good at taking down Wasp. However, when it comes to Warthogs, it's it's kind of weak. Still with lock on. Don't don't move at all. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, wait, wait. Is it about to explode or no? <coughs> Yeah, you boy. Uh, what? seven, eight, nine. Nine! Nine rockets. Holy crap, that takes a while. Um, you basically have to empty the whole clip and then reload three more times. If you had the laser, you could just instantly destroy. Um, I mean, and I know a lot of people don't like that because that's sort of overpowered, but I think it's something we need in the game. Um, there is one more weapon that seems like it's good for destroying vehicles though. And that is none other than the skewer. But it's actually not as good as you might think it is. Here in this clip, it still takes, I think, two shots to kill it. Um, and the thing about the skewer is it takes a long while to reload. So by the time then, you're gonna be dead. So we really don't have a f weapon that is capable to one-shot a vehicle. And by that, I mean a light vehicle. Obviously, it would be too overpowered to one-shot a tank. Drive, 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 drive. Okay. So it's I gonna be two shots. Two shots, yeah. Oh, that's kind of bad. I think this blazer is the best idea to fill in that like light vehicle killing machine thing. Um, here I show myself killing a bunch of people, but um, I don't think it should be like that. Um, I think to make this balance, um, maybe a, a slower charge time and also um, less ammo than in Halo 3. Um, I'm pretty sure they did less ammo in Reach, um, so yeah. I could also make it a limited amount of range also, but other than that, I think bringing back the Splazer is pretty nice. Third, we have the SMG. Now, this is mainly focused on the Halo 2 and Halo 3 one, um, mostly because like the Halo 5 one was kind of weird, but um, Halo 2 and Halo 3, they were quite similar. Sort of like an alternative to the assault rifle, except a little bit better. Is something that was, you know, fun to use. Again, Infinite introduced like a bunch of cool new weapons, but I feel like it's still a little bit lacking in variety. So I think we should bring back some of the old weapons. However, for this one, I don't really have a like a good reason to why it would sort of like enhance or balance the playstyle of the game. Um, as said before, the assault rifle has a really fast TTK, same with the commando and sidekick, so if they do add the SMG, I don't know where that would be at, because the TTKs are already so fast, the SMG is supposed to be a fast fire rate weapon, um, I'm guessing the best way to include this into Halo Infinite is have the, um, SMG be a fast shield breaker, but when it comes to um, damaging health, like um, on shield, um, it has low damage. Either way, if they add it, I think it would just be a great way to just like increase the sandbox, have a little bit more fun. Um, if they do add it, I don't know if they're gonna add dual wielding back. <laughs> that seems really unlikely. Anyways, just the rest of this clip of me dominating with the SMGs. I never really knew that they were actually really good in Halo 3. Never really used them, always stuck to the BR. Okay, if you're a true Halo fan, you know the next two weapons. So number two, we of course have the OG shotgun. Now, when the Bulldog came out, I know a lot of people were unhappy. Um, 
I was kind of okay with it since I knew they said they were gonna add it back at some point. Uh, the bulldog, it, it it's 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 a, it's a pretty okay weapon, but in the end of the day, you miss that one shot up close kill. So I think the best way to implement this shotgun into the game is just make it like Halo Freeze. Have it have terrible range, but when it's CQB and stuff. It is overpowered. The best time to add the shotgun back in is when they release Infection. Because if you think about it, if we have Bulldogs for Infection, that'll sort of be overpowered. Because the Bulldog has pretty good range. On top of that, you know there's no shield Infection. So that's basically easy kills for survivors. You don't even have to use a sidekick to try to get headshots. And as you can see here, there's flood footage. So, are you really expecting yourself to use the bulldog when it comes to fighting the flood? Hell no. Dude, that thing doesn't fucking damage enough. You have to take um, three shots to kill one flood form? No, bro. That You have to reload like probably every fucking like um, two flood combat forms. And if you say the flood's not gonna come back, I, I, dude, dude it, it, they're coming back. This game's supposed to last 10 years. And they said there's DLC campaigns. So the flood is definitely coming back. And for whatever reason, you just um, don't want the shotgun back. And then you said, oh, you just took more than two shots on flood. Well, I'm playing on legendary difficulty right now. And it takes only one shot to kill them most of the time. Like, bro, this thing is god tear and we need it back. You literally couldn't have done the library without this thing. Well, probably you could, but the the OG shotgun just made it a lot easier. Okay, last, but definitely not least, number one, the classic Magnum. Um, so, when we first saw the sidekick, I'm pretty sure everybody was disappointed that the Magnum wasn't returned. I personally, again, didn't really care because they said they were going to return it at some point, but... Still, you know, again, it's sad to have that, like, classic thing missing. You might think, how are we supposed to implement this into the game? Well, I think the best option would be to make it a power weapon, like Halo 5. Um, no speed boost or anything like that game put it with, but, um, yeah, a power weapon, since this would be so darn good. Just probably a free shot kill, I think, just like Halo once so if they want to add it back. Um, um, yeah, if you made it a rack weapon, it would just literally melt people. Like, everybody would be trying to go for that instead of like a sniper rifle. Because sniping in Infinite's a little bit more difficult. Not, not too bad. Um, but yeah. Really no explanation for why this needs to be back. If you're a Halo fan, you want this to be back. It's just such an iconic weapon. Also, actually an honorable mention. Two honorable mentions, actually. Bring back the Halo Reach slash Halo 4 Magnum. Because that thing was like... Like, sort of good, but at the same time it was like harder to use than like a bow rifle or a DMR, obviously. But I think it was just a cool weapon to have into the game. And also the auto mag actually. The auto mag was um, pretty fun to use. They added it into Halo 3. Kinda different from what it was like in ODST. But still pretty cool. Just adding more stuff. Also actually, I, if, now that I think about it. They should add back to Silence SMG. Another cool thing. Um, so just coming up with ideas like this. Like old OG classic weapons just adding on to the sandbox that we already have in infinite like with the release of forge and just so much stuff to spawn it would be so cool to just have all of that now that I think about it there's actually a lot of weapons I want to return but for the sake of this video it's already super long I'm just gonna stop it here so before I do the outro um I actually want to do a quick shout out to Everell um, link down in the description, he helped me get some of this footage in Infinite, and also he, he's in this CE game right now, actually. But he was great help, and, um, actually, um, 
help me find some of those stats. Um, if you want to learn more about those stats, I suggest um, watching Azolai. He does all those good stuff, um, talks about nerfs, about the commando and stuff. So if you want better credentials, uh, go watch his stuff. But um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you disagree with any of this stuff, um, feel free to leave a comment and also leave a like. Um, I stayed up, uh, what is it like? Oh, it's 3 a.m. right now. So yeah, um, leave a like. <laughs> I can't believe I'm be, uh, begging for likes right now. But um, yeah, if you want to see more of this stuff, um, if we reach like about 500 likes, I'll do like a top five uh, covenant slash like brute weapon stature return. Because there's actually a lot of stuff there that should return in Halo Infinite. But yeah, it's been James, guys. I gotta sleep. I'll see you guys um, next time.